All right, so today we are going to be taking on the newest Super Bad Road stage on Global, which is stage 54, Worthy Rivals Only. And for the team, we are running double Int Majin Majidas, which means that everybody on this team will be getting 200% leader skills. And for that reason, I'm not really expecting to have any issues in this run, but we'll see. And as far as the other members go, we have the AGL LR Majin Vegeta, the Tech Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta, the Int LR SSB Vegeta, AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, and finally the Int GT Vegeta. So with that said, let's jump right into it here and get this run started. Okay, so we do have a double Majin Vegeta rotation in this first rotation, which is great. And, oh, you know what? <laughs> I forgot these guys have the same name, so they can't actually link with each other, which is unfortunate. So I guess we'll take this guy and put him in the third slot. And can we get it? Oh, we can actually get an 18 key super with the LR, which is rare. So we got to go for it. But just to be safe, I'm also going to pop a... Icarus because we do have a couple of tech attacks in that first slot and you know supers will still be pretty bad even though his defense is solid a super will still hurt a lot so yeah the Icarus is probably a smart idea and then uh let's go for Lord Slug with the SSBE and so we can get a super for the Int Majin Vegeta as well okay here we go let's see what happens here so tanking very well Tanking very well. Super 3.5 mil. This will be an attack all with potentially some stuns as well. Oh, damn. Okay, that's some good damage. Okay, so we're getting supered, so the Icarus was definitely a great idea. And as you can see, even with almost 200,000 defense and the Icarus active, we still took close to 300k for a super attack. So... You know, even though it's not as hard, obviously, as Extreme Super Battle Road, you still have to be careful in uh, regular Super Battle Road, especially when it comes to some of the newer stages. But uh, we should almost be done here. Um, I think this guy's going to take out at least one enemy by himself here. And with an additional, we might take out the other guy as well. Yeah, I think this is going to do it. I think, I mean, a crit would guarantee it either way he's dead okay well moving on <laughs> I was expecting this to be a quick run but this might actually end up being quicker than I initially thought okay so we're facing all the metal coolers here um, let's do a princess snake first and then we're gonna do the double GT Vegeta rotation um, let me see here Okay, let's put this guy here, and I'm going to go for the tech one. That's going to be seven orbs. Obviously, switching over to the STR one for the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And then, I guess back to tech for this guy. Um, oh, just got a super. Nice. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> Did we just take 90... Thousand damage. Do we take? We just took 90k from a normal. Granted, I think it was with type advantage, like he had type advantage over us, but still, that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. I did not see that one coming. I did not. Okay, well, um, let's pop the Icarus here. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. And let me see, uh, let's do, well, I'll give three orbs to the Tech Mata Vegeta. And it looks like we actually can't get a super off with the AGL Vegeta. So I'm going to put SSBE in that slot instead. And uh, there is a super for the AGL Mata Vegeta. I don't think we're going to get his 18 key anymore for the rest of the run. Because once again, it's very rare unless you bring orb changing items or an AGL orb changing unit. Um, you can't really expect to get the Majin Vegeta's 18 key too often. 
But when you do get it, man, it is amazing for Super Battle Road. Obviously, it's just pretty difficult. You gotta be pretty lucky to get that many AGL orbs like we did. <clears throat> Regardless, though, um, everybody else is putting in work, as you can see. Int L R S S B E, still doing his thing, still a beast. I don't know where all this hate for him recently has been coming from, but I don't agree with it. Okay, he is still an amazing, amazing unit. Is he as good as the seventh anniversary LRs? Obviously not, but that's because he's from last year, and every year they have to one up themselves, right? So like, I don't know, man. All I'm saying is like, don't sleep on this guy. <laughs> okay, moving on, moving on. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go for the Whis here, and oh man, this is scary. This is actually really, really concerning. So. We have so many uh, Fizz attacks in the middle, so I have to put the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta there. And I guess Majin Vegeta in the first slot is not the worst idea. It's not ideal, but it's better than putting the Int GT Vegeta there, so... Yeah, let's do it like this, and I'm gonna try to get a good amount of orbs for this guy. Uh, we only have five. Okay, so hopefully none of the two attacks at the end are supers, because that would be very, very bad. I don't think we'll die. I don't think he'll kill us with one super. But it, it'll, it'll be scary. Okay, so the super is here. Still not great. <clears throat> Still not great. But it could be worse. Oh, wow. I clearly underestimated <laughs> into Majin Vegeta's um, damage reduction right there because I, I I was expecting like 50 to 100k to be honest I really was I was expecting to take at least 50k instead we took double digits I mean we have the Whis active but I didn't think um I, I didn't think he was gonna tank it that well maybe maybe that's my mistake that's probably my mistake, but but damn, okay, good job. Um, let's see, let's do. I could do that. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I think that's fine. I I, I think that's fine. Or, or at least it should it should be okay. Maybe. Let's give these to him, and then we can get a super off with the int Majin Vegeta, my int Majin Vegeta, not as good as the friend who's rainbowed, clearly, but he should still still hold up okay. I mean, the 200% leader skill is just crazy. Um, as you can see, the defense for all these units is much higher than it normally is under 170%, obviously, and uh, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so we need Majin Vegeta here, or rather SSB Vegeta. I was gonna say I wanted wanted him to get like three, four supers, but okay, that's fine. Double double super is still good. Double super is still something. And a nice crit yo. Double super from the tech Vegeta as well. Yo, this new mod Vegeta has really brought so much life back to the tech Vegeta. Like I really wasn't using him that much before this. And now I'm running him on well, I mean, mostly the Majin Vegeta team, but I'm using him a lot more because of that. Which is great. And we got the dodge, too. <laughs> Wait, Majin Vegeta does not have built-in dodge, does he? As far as, like, his passive goes. He doesn't have any passive dodge. Um, He doesn't, yeah. He doesn't, so... Damn. That means we got... Two dodges from level five dodge in the hidden potential system. Is that is that what you're telling me? <laughs> this guy got two dodges back to back when I have a hard time getting that for the LR UI Goku. Both of them. I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm still trying to find if like I just missed or forgot that he dodges on his passive, but he doesn't. He doesn't have a medium chance or even high chance or whatever. So, okay, well. Um, that was a thing that happened. That was pretty crazy. Now, this rotation really sucks. This rotation is actually trash. Uh, 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I think what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna have to do is to be safe. I'm gonna pop a person of snake. And uh, hopefully you can get a super off with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. There we go. And we should be fine if we take a super. But yeah, these guys just don't link well. This is just like a bad, at least for key, it's a bad key linking situation for this rotation. Um, luckily, we're not getting super here. That's good. And we should be able to finish him off with the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta now. Um... Most likely. No, he's still alive. Wow. Okay, Majin Vegeta. Probably. A crit would guarantee it for sure. Mmm, so close. So, so close. Okay, well, who do we let? You know what? I'm not sure if this is actually gonna be enough damage, but let's let's pop it anyways. Let's see how this goes. SSB Vegeta, active skill. Not something I see a lot these days, so every time I can get it going, I'm a pop it. Crit? No crit, but oh wow. I was gonna say no crit, but still enough. I lied. Uh here we go. Here we go. Boom. 24 key super. And that's gonna do it, guys. That is going to do it. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, luckily that wasn't a super attack, because we would have died, actually. <laughs> if we're taking 100 plus K from a normal, yeah, we definitely would have died to a super. So we actually kind of lucked out there. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was just like, we're at full HP, you know? Like, full HP, we need one more hit. We'll be fine, but legit, if he had supered us with that first attack, with that one attack, uh, we would have been screwed. That would have been a tragic, tragic moment for sure. And yeah, I would have cried, but luckily I don't have to cry because we got it done. So there you have it, guys. That is Worthy Rival Super Battle Road Stage 54 with the double Majin Majita leads. Easy, no problem, like I said, as expected, and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below how you guys are finding this new stage, do you think it's hard, or easy, or somewhere in between, and uh, as always, if you guys like today's video, make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, and until next time, have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.